hell of yours are coming back in this video faster than the future. Uh, thanks. <laughs> okay, it's been a while since I last. Okay, I started recording this video. Video, so sorry if I seem a little flustered because I, I apparently started streaming instead of starting recording. Um, but it's been a while since I recorded an episode of this. They've added a lot. I don't remember what <laughs> they've added. I don't remember how long it's been. I know I've showed off Clan Blitz. Uh, Gobi Arena, I'm pretty sure I didn't show off Gobi Arena in new map. Uh, Arowana Mall came back. Yeah, a bunch of new weapons. Uh, the Zip, uh, off the top of my head, uh, Nazno's D. Uh, I can't remember which type it is. Whatever. <laughs> um, let's check out what's available at the shop. <laughs> So, I I don't know. I've I've been trying to explain the rules of each game mode as we're doing it, explain everything as that it's happening, but I really don't remember honestly. Crack on Splat Roller. Oh God. Crack on Splat Roller is the product of a collaboration with the popular Crack on Gear brand. Drop a squid beacon while rolling around to gather your teammates and coordinate your strike. There's no fear of being surrounded when you can retaliate with the baller. Highly recommended for those who want like to push forward. Uh, yeah, the crack on Splat Roller, uh, is, I mean, in Splatoon 1, it was incredibly overused and overpowered because it had the Kraken, mainly, which the Kraken was incredibly overpowered in Splatoon 1. That's not all, you're ready to, also ready to wield the classic Squiver. So, the baller is basically, it's in, it's not as bad as the Kraken, for sure, because you can only attack when you're done with it, and also you can destroy it. The, the Kraken was basically, it was invincible. And it was a one-hit kill when it, it touches you, and it can just keep moving at full speed. Load of crap. But anyways, you're also ready to wield the classic squiffer. Classic squiffer for for a charger. It's a bit short on range, but it, in return, but in return, it can charge up much quicker. Okay. Use the point sensor to sniff out hidden opponents, allowing you and your allies to overrun and outnumber marked enemies. Even though it's a charger, the short charge time and the power when the power when using the ink armor special allows you to jump into the fray. This set is great for inking, for the inkling who's confident with charger in close quarters. All right, heavy slatling deco. Heavy slatling deco is some, the same stats as the heavy slatling, but it's been cosmetically enhanced. The splash, the splash wall. Yes, that's called a splash wall. <laughs> Brain protects you from your opponent's attacks while you're, while increasing your ink coverage. Once the groundwork's been laid, the combination of your splatling and bubble blower is special to expand your turf in the blink of an eye. Use the combination. Okay. <laughs> I recommend this to players who want to weave the, together a solid strategy in fabulous style. But that's not all. We have the Dooley Squelchers, the Etika's mean. <laughs> the Dooley Squelchers are Dooley versions of the Jet Squelcher. They feature an exceptional, com an exceptional combination of highly accurate rapid fire after rolling with long-ish range. You can pinpoint your enemies, your opponent's p opponent's position with the point sensor and tenant missiles, making you a real nuisance to the enemy team. And you can dodge roll away from enemies that could get close. I recommend this. I recommend them for nimble fighters who want to support their team. Better reading. All right, so let's use the classic squip. I don't use, I don't use uh, chargers online often enough. So that's what we'll be doing, but first we're going to go single player. And continue the, uh... Continue our, uh, Splattershot playthrough. Where we do every single level that we haven't done with the Splattershot. With the Splattershot. And while we're going through the level, I'll go over some, uh... Future things coming to Splatoon, because it's, there's quite a lot. Uh, let's check out what we can do here. Not quite yet. We need some more uh, power eggs. Yeah, slosher. Hero slosher. I'm not gonna upgrade that till later, cause uh, I don't like the faster speed, honestly. Uh, Splatoon 2 the series uh, is it's gonna get bigger soon, uh, cause there's gonna be an update that we're gonna be talking about. Uh, well, the 3.0 update is coming out soon, so we'll talk about that. Okay, so a little time. And then on top of that, we have the first the first paid DLC for Splatoon. It was announced uh, a while ago, actually. See, since there's so much time between videos, uh, 
<laughs> it's going to be a lot unhounced over a long period of time. But they're adding Piranha Pit tomorrow. They're adding Piranha Pit from Splatoon 1 back into the game. And at some point... Now, I don't know, the three, I don't know when the 3.0 update is releasing this. That hasn't released yet. I know that. But it's going to add a new rank. Rank X. Which, uh, basically, if you're above rank S plus 10, it'll automatically... S plus 10, S plus 15, I don't remember exactly. But if you're, uh... If you're above that, then you'll automatically be put in rank X, because that's... That's the rank that rank, rank X is uh, going to be placed at. Uh, they're also... Callie is finally coming back. In uh, Splatoon 2. As like a character that you can actually talk to for once. And she's going to give you stats uh, on your character. Like how, how many times you open the map is the example that they used in uh, the Splatoon Tumblr. They didn't show off any 3.0 maps or anything. I mean, they, they, they started off a lot of 3.0 maps, so they didn't show off any weapons that they're going to be adding. That balloon's gone. I've been doing a lot of these levels on my other account. On my main account, so... Yeah, I'm going to be rushing through them a bit more, because I've been... I'm more used to them. So apologies for that. So what else is that being added for 3.0? Um... No more levels, which I kind of expected. I'm really trying hard to remember. I can't really remember what else they are adding. Okay. There's where I'm losing the key. Okay. But other maps. Uh, they're adding one more map from Splatoon 1 in. Uh... Camp Triggerfish. That's the one I'm most hyped for. Most, the turning map that I'm most hyped for. And then a new one, uh, Wahoo World, I believe it's called. Shoot. Oh, I didn't think I'd make that because I was shot in midair. So that was all shut off in the direct. I might look up what else they're adding in 3.0. New music. Uh, so far they've revealed, uh, Blitz It. From returning the returning chirpy chirps, they're coming back. Oh, I haven't been looking out for the uh, sunken scroll. My bad. Uh, what's it by the chirpy chirps and uh, full battery? No, not it's not. It's full battery in Europe. Uh, I don't remember the. See, for some reason, the chirpy chirps are called ABXY in Europe. Uh, Blitz it is called is like at, for some reason it's with that one band it has different names in Japan, Europe. Na I mean different names in Europe and America. It's really annoying. These are hard to know, but because they announced them in Europe first, so I knew them by that and only their European names for a while. The songs. So, the second song in Europe is called Full Battery. Can't remember for the life of me right now <laughs> what it was called in, uh, in America. Oof. Whatever, that's fine. But the big, the big news that was announced there, I mean, not the big news that was announced there. That definitely wasn't not the big news. The big, uh, Splatoon-ish news. But the biggest news for the actual Splatoon game is come summer we're gonna get the first paid DLC in the Octo Expansion. The the uh, game that I'm playing through right now, the levels that I'm playing through right now, is uh, there's less than 40 in the game. Uh, the Octo Expansion is gonna have 80 levels, and you're gonna be able to play as an Octo. That's that's like the big part. They finally are making the Octo Limbs playable. excited about. Okay. And there's just so much that comes with it. It's $20, but it's, like, huge. And if you win, and if you beat the, uh, campaign, 
You get to face the Aquamans online. So that's that's pretty major. Alright, there's also been, I believe, two Splatfests that I haven't made videos on. For various reasons. Uh, one of the times I literally just, I really didn't want to. I didn't have the, I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like I needed to. I did live streams on the second one. The other one I was at a friend's house for. So I wouldn't really, this is the big news, right here. And that's, uh... Uh, Super Smash Bros. was announced, and Inklings were the first thing they showed off for it. I wonder if, do we have any bonuses? Yes, we do. Oh, sweet! That's perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly, uh... Oh, we have money up right now, okay. I got Ink Resistance up, which is perfect. Because I, that's my... That's my ability I'm going for right now on my main account. So I guess it doesn't really matter in this one. I'm not really going to go for it. But whatever. Uh, we're a bit poor right now, so I'm not really going to... I believe we're poor. Yeah, 593. Pretty poor. So, we're going to head to the lobby. We're going to do ranked battles. Now, whatever we go on, I'm really... Not sure what, <laughs> what, what game modes we've actually, I've actually explained. I I probably should have made a document of all, a list of all the things that we haven't I haven't shown off yet. I'm sure I haven't shown off the uh, classic Squiffer yet. So so I'll talk about the classic Squiffer. Sheldon pretty much covered it though. Uh, short range, fast charge time, pretty good mobility. We're gonna be going on Kelp Dome and Sturgeon Shipyard on Rainmaker mode. So, we, I, I mean, I've probably shown off Rainmaker mode, I'm not completely sure, <laughs> so, just in case I haven't, Rainmaker mode, you take the Rainmaker, you hold it, you gotta slam it down on their pedestal, and when they take it, you gotta kill the Rainmaker before they slap it down on your pedestal, Rainmaker makes, makes shoot, shoot big bullet, make big boom, you can see where the Rainmaker is on the map at all times, and it measures how close you are to each other's pedestals, uh, to, like, see how many points you have. So that's just basically it. And the pedestal, the pedestal, you're supposed to get it on the pedestal deep in the enemy's base, so you gotta push in really far. Because I remember when the game first came, when the game first came out in Splatoon 1, everyone took it and went backwards, because they used to, like, capture the flag they thought it was. But yeah, new script. Can't even reach the Rainmaker over there. Maybe it doesn't do too much damage either. Dang it. Dang it, I didn't think he'd be able to hit, over, uh, hit up and over that. Okay. Sorry, I'm not good on my charger game, especially my low range charger game. Not this man. Oh no. Damn it. <laughs> I think the rain got me. Yep. Ringstorm got me. Okay, they're going this way. Go. I'm just gonna go this way. I'm uh, making a run for it. I took the lead back. I'm not gonna make it, but I'm gonna make it as far as I can. Now they're gonna take it back. I have a feeling I know which way they're gonna go. Uh, up in that area, I believe. Oh, one of them's already gone that way. Shoot, I forgot that's the spot that I need to protect at all times. They're not. They're not. They're not. They're not. They're going the other way. Oh shoot, everyone's dead over there. Oh, one of them is opening it. Oh, I didn't have the range. I thought I did. Okay, I got someone at least. <laughs> Not completely useless. Okay, 
Okay, I point, I point centered them all though, so they should all see him. Or not. Dang it. Come on, I didn't get the kill. Oh, I would have killed him. Go, oh, oh shit. Okay. One of them knew where I was going. Two of them. Got it. Alright. <laughs> We're good. Oh, I may have only gotten one splat there with my charger. I got another splat with the Rainmaker. But I, I slapped it down on the pedestal. I feel good about that. Eight? Wait, what? Wait. Oh, wait. You're right, right. It counts. I never knew this for the longest time. It, it counts assists as kills in that screen right there. I don't know why. That's probably what that what that was. It it count, was counting my assists. Cause I you know I only got I only got one splat with the charger, and I believe I only got one splat with the uh, rainmaker. But I got a lot of assists there. <laughs> Point sensor. I don't think I used my special once. No, I used my special once. I did use it once. The engarment. Oh, jeez. We're all... Oh, my God. All shooter-type weapons. We have one Dewey on us, though. Uh, the Dark Tetra Ghost. Those are brand new. I, mean, I'm, I know I haven't gone over those. Oh, that's enemy! I didn't think it was... It was yellow, okay? Okay, I'm gonna take this up this position here. You can see that missile coming down from above there. Dang, I'm so used to longer range chargers. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. I have horrible aim. I should be dead right now. That guy should have killed me, but I'm like, I'm just gonna sit here and try to get this kill. I'm horrible with the charger, I tell you. Ah. Easy shot. You know, it's probably better for me to just... Yep, I'm dead. I can't, I can't go anywhere. Yeah, just sit there while a Rainmaker is going deeper in the base. Just, yeah. Our whole base is covered up right now. I'm, I'm gonna help the boys up in front, if there are. Looks to be a no. I'm out. <laughs> I'm just running. Keep everyone point centered. Okay. I helped. I think. I'm basically just running from everything and point censoring everything. I mean, at least I can help with the point sensor. Dang it. 
Dang it, I was trying to get one shot straight down. That always gets him. Yeah, they're just all arrow sprays. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm not living. I guess I gave everyone in Garmer. The guy had a friend jump into him, even though I killed him with mashing. Even though I killed him with mashing, he had a friend jump in and help him out. Oh crap, how did I miss those shots? Oh my god, they're just kind of walking forward and shooting. That's all they're freaking doing. They don't need no skill. Then again, here I am using a freaking classic script like a doof. <laughs> I'm trying here. Just gotta shoot into the crowd, hope to get someone, because I can't see shit. Smart, they would come from this way, so I'm making sure that. Yeah, they're not smart. <laughs> okay, I got someone in the background. Not the guy I was trying to shoot, the guy I was trying to shoot killed me. Oh, did we just get to the pedestal? No, we did not. So that was time out. Like the time ran out. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I have a problem with it. It says I have 10 splats. I like it. <laughs> it makes me look good. Oh, that's good. Run speed up main and run speed up sub. So we're going to switch to a new weapon. And clearly I'm not going to be doing very well with that one. Alright. What should I use right now? I've done showcasing that weapon. I've showcased that I'm bad with it. Um, yeah, I know I use the slosher the most here. You know what? We're going to try something new and odd for me. You know what? We're going to go a longer range charger. We're going to keep it charger based, alright? We're going to keep this uh, charger based. And once this is done, we'll end off with a with one round of salmon run. How about? How about it? Ah, I should do a salmon another one hour salmon run sometime here. But uh, Octo expansion is going to be done for this series. Splatoon to the series. Oh god, they have one of them as a class of Squiffer. Yeah, Octo Expansion, that's gonna be Splatoon 2 the series. Uh blind playthrough. It's gonna be. I have a lot more experience with this weapon. Oh god. I'm making a run for it. Okay, I got a friend with me. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna make it. We have an ink brush, they have an ink brush. <laughs> and they have both the same version of the ink brush, too. I guess I'll jump to that. See, now I'm doing a little bit better. <laughs> hey, hey, Mr. Spooch-Romatic, what are you doing? 
that was much better for me. This is more my style of charger. The longer range one. And I feel like it's easier to hit with it too. I don't know what's up with that. As with the goo tuber for me. That's Lutomatic. It was trying to do something at the end, but it ended up with zero splats. Wonderful. I have four splats, all of them with the charger. Like, the charger up shot. Not assists and Rainmaker shots. I didn't kill anyone with the Rainmaker. I just ran for it with the Rainmaker. And I was the only one in the whole game with the Rainmaker. I believe. They didn't have the Rainmaker, did they? I know I picked it up the first time in the middle. And I jumped back and I picked it up again because it was sitting there in the open. Alright. Since that one was short, we'll do one more. And then we'll do same and run. Alright. Kelp Dome this time. Ah, uh, someone, someone beat the whole game with, uh, Splatter Shot. That's our goal. No one's going for the douchebag route. Okay, I'm dead. Oh, God. Once I miss a couple times, I'm like, screw it. I'm killing this man no matter what. I don't need nothing cool. Shoot. They're gonna be going this way. Oh, shoot. I didn't look before charge. What the heck? I was just kind of sliding backwards there. That's what you get. I love the little dodge rolls that I'm doing. What the heck? Why did he do that? Okay, we won. <laughs> Another short one, but whatever. You know what? We're still gonna go on the same run. All right. Back out. We're gonna we're gonna go into same run. I have no clue what weapons they have right now. Let's check it out. Okay, some zinc mini splatling, the brand new weapon, and the other new weapon. I think I think that is it. I know that's the zinc splatling, but I don't know what the. Uh, I don't remember if it was an Elf or H3. Nozzle nose D. But uh, that's uh that's one of them. <laughs> And then an E leader and an old splatter shot. So let's head on over and do that. I want to use the charger online more often in my normal account. That was fun. But yeah, we'll do one. If we do good enough, we'll get a capsule. Whoops, wrong button. Neo's hands. But. I'm sure E3 we're gonna get more information about everything. Ah, uh, Sam the Smoke Yard. I don't know if I've shown off this map before, but basically it's just two areas bridged together with a propeller bridge. Uh, pro propeller moving bridges. Did I just kill some? <laughs> well, there's an example of something that happens often <laughs> in this map. Accidentally killing your friends all the time in this map. That way. There's people coming from this way too. So, unless that was someone like right behind me seeing it, I don't know. Let me 
someone already. Oh, another? This is the only boss we've gotten. Down here, get across. They're only ever coming from right here. I am on the lower difficulty because I still haven't played uh, Sam Run as often. I haven't given my rank time to increase. Okay, make sure I didn't kill anyone. Oh, shoot. It's not coming from over here. There we go. Stingray. It's good. There we got Steelhead. Yeah, this is high tide. Where the bridges are actually if you don't make it, you're actually dead. No matter what. But I mean you're usually dead if, in high tide too, because there's a canal going in the middle. That you're usually gonna fall in. We're all just kinda camping this morning. Hopping and bopping. H3 nozzle nose. Not D. Alright then. Going down the normal tide here. See, so, you know, there is a canal through the middle, but you have like, these little saving things on the sides. I can't deal with that steel head right now. I got a bit more around here. Yeah, this weapon is a three shot first. If you don't know it. Okay, we got the moss. Oof. Just in time, I, I already have. Oh. Made it. <laughs> back on the same one. I'm out! <laughs> okay, he still made it. I thought he fell and I was gonna come down to help out, I guess. I don't know. Oh, did that really not make it in? Good lord. This is so much slower face than the game I'm used to. So I think those things have less health in this difficulty, because I swear it takes a lot more to kill one of those in my games, in my normal account. Alright, mini splatling. Now we got to do the E-leader. See, he was saved when he fell. He would not be saved in a normal game. He would not be saved in a high tide. <laughs> what I meant to say. Get out of my way, dude. But yeah, Undertale's coming to Switch. I don't know about doing videos on it. What? I shot through his brain. How does... what? I'm not sure how I managed that. Oh, man. He still got killed by it. Kind of funny. Oh my god, two scratches. Why did you just splash down? No, 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 no. My dude. <laughs> oh, I 
haven't had to use any of my stingrays. I haven't had the need to. So it's not exactly hard in this difficulty here. This guy is... God, this, he, he just survived that. My man. <laughs> Alright, so that'll be it for this video. Let's see if we did good enough to earn myself a capsule. Seven hundred and eighty three. I think it's the amount of eggs you got. So yeah, seven yeah, I didn't get it. Alright. Whatever. Sorry, it takes seven minutes to do those. I'm really only gonna get capsules when I do a lot in a row. Which would be like the videos dedicated to it. So I probably should do more often. Alright, well, that's it for this episode. Ah. Don't die for the next video. I'm gonna say next time you can't see my face right now because I'm a freaking. What am I mean? Freaking demon. <laughs> time for the next video. Next next episode, I'll probably do some, uh. More amiibo stuff. So, look forward to that. They're coming out with, a uh, Marina and Pearl amiibo. That was the newest thing that happened. So, I'll be getting those. I'll be, wor I'll be working out with those two. <laughs> Don't die for the next video, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.